Everton are uh, obviously facing pelters at the yeah. moment, and yeah. it's a diff- it's a difficult time, obviously, yeah. for Everton. I mean, what have you made of that? And, and, and I'm a, I'll give you my like my viewpoints yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah. I think I listen to your shoulders. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That was probably a little bit more mm. angry the other day. Yeah. Um, no, I just think I I would say this even with like Forrester in there at the moment. But I'd say this with anything. I don't believe points deduction mm. is a fair yeah. uh, punishment. I think certainly players have gone out and won games of football. So yeah. why should they be punished? I think something like a squad reduction. Yeah. So you might have to lose four players out your squad and 21s come in yeah, and, and yeah, that's yeah. the way it is. Or a transfer ban. Yeah. I think that way you can affect the football club as well. Yeah. Um, points deduction as a footballer. Yeah. Like if you were still at Everton now with that it. 10 points. What? Oh, they hate it. We, we spoke about it in the last Did season. You? Yeah, Did yeah, you, yeah. We spoke about it in the last season because that would have killed us. Mm. We'd have been done. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? So when it all came out at the end of last season, it would have killed us. Of mm. course it would have. The, bi- the biggest thing with me with all this, and as you'll know a lot more than me, mm. I try and kind of keep up to date with it. Yeah, and I try yeah, and research yeah. it a little bit. It's it's way above kind of what I do. And I've, mm. I've had a little look into it. And I think the biggest thing about it from my point of view, obviously following Everton and supporting Everton and looking at what the boys are doing this year and how mm. well they're playing, is in terms of... It, it, it's exactly the word you've used there is in terms of fairness. Mm. It's in terms of what's fair and what's not. Mm. If we had a protocol for this and this was the rule, yeah. and if you if you broke them rules, mm. then this is the punishment you're going to get. Mm. And I think a lot of Evertonians, and certainly me, I, we'd understand that a little bit. There's nothing yeah, in place. Yeah. No. So, there's, so there's nothing in place now. Mm. I don't think anybody's kind of sat here going Everton haven't broke rules because I think they have. I mm. think that that's what we're all looking at. Do you know mm. what I mean? We're, but I think the biggest thing is fairness in terms of the 10 points before. Now we're looking at another one now. Mm. And looking how well the lads are doing on the pitch, and that's actually affecting the boys on the pitch. Yeah, do you know what I mean? So I'm I'm, fu- I'm fully with you in terms mm. of what you're saying. But we did speak up at the end of last season, panicking, yeah. panicking massively. Sat there mm. over the coffee, a few of the boys going, "If we get this here, we're, we're knackered. Here. You know, it, we, yeah. we've got a chance of mm. keeping us up and moving on. But if we get this now, we're knackered, mm. and it absolutely kills you, mate. As a uh, footballer, it kills you. And it'd be it'd be I think anyway, it'd be crazy if the points deduction mm. uh, there was another one to oh. come on top of that because oh. that'd be. It, the way it works, the three years rolling thing, yeah. and, and that, and we've all talked about bloody finances. Yeah. When I don't, I also want to talk about formations yeah, yeah, and goals. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. be thinking about yeah. things. But to add points deductions from two different seasons, yeah, yeah. and in then the put them season. together and go right, like, yeah, that, you're giving you giving Everton no chance. And the rules are supposed to be to protect the football club yeah, from yeah. from yeah. going into financial course difficulties course, yeah. when course, they are. So. And and the the big thing with it was as well is I always read that they were working with Everton. That but, was what I always read. Well, that we was one of the things, yeah. That was the things, wasn't it? That they were always working can't with Can't sign him, you can't That's sign him. That's what I'm him. saying. So it was kind of the working with them, but then, so now we're talking 20 points. If you're going to do another 10, like, mm. it's, 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 it's mental. It's, yeah. it, it's mental when you think about it, so... Yeah, as a player, going back to being a player. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. That's all I'm yeah, saying. Going back to being a player and talking about it. Yeah, absolutely kill it. Even last year mm. when we were speaking about it over the coffee. The after, Woody was when there. The news, oh, of course, the Woody was there. Because mm. you're going like, we've got to give ourselves a chance. And to be fair, the boys were, we were picking up points here. And yeah, there, yeah. And all of a sudden you get slapped with that and you go, we're done. We're gone, yeah. You know I mean? We're done. So, mm. yeah, it's, it's mass- massively worrying. Massively mm. worrying. I, I do think the first one, when you got the first one, it was too much, mm. it was too much fit, first and mm. foremost. But I actually think because of what, how well Everton are doing, I actually mm. think it come at the right time. If you're going to mm. get it, it come at the right time. Mm. If, if, if they, they've given it happen. because they, they're going to do it, do Everton should they get some more points back? Of course, they should because mm. they're, they're appealing. But there was it no thing. I think that like you just made a great point there. There was no process in place. So yeah, yeah if you overspend there yeah. at six points, but, and you go, oh, oh well, like, we know. There's so many people involved in footy supporters and people at clubs mm. and players and everything, and no one knows the rules. No, you go back to VAR, and you don't know yeah, the rules of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just yeah. get slapped with, with punishments for VAR for, for this sort of stuff, mm. but no one knows the rules. It's just like, are we just are we sat around a the table there and just gone? Like, what should we give them? Go ten. Mm. From where? Why? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, so I think if something was in place, mm. I think people could understand it maybe a little bit more, but. It's not, and I think that's the gripe with everybody from my yeah, point yeah. of view. I think probably players as well, but yeah, it would be horrible from from a player point of view because we, we experienced it last year and felt it a little bit. It's what happens to small oh. clubs, I suppose. Ah, oh, stop that. Uh, <laughs> big Mr. <laughs> Masters. Uh, so what's the rest of this Inside the Game podcast? Head over to the More Than The Game channel or click the video that's on screen now. <laughs> 